Good morning. It is Phil to the Brim and it is Saturday, May 28th. And um, actually I had a postponed trip, but I'm going to be going on it. So I won't be online next week, but you have a great Memorial Day weekend. I know many of you travel during that time and it's kind of the launch for summer, but um, the Lord is with you. I want you to remember as you are going about, especially your summer events and things, do not buy what the world is selling. I don't buy it. Listen, this is one of the secrets to a transformed mind. This is a secret to living life abundantly, is not buying what the enemy is selling you. And it begins with his seeding your thoughts, seeding your thoughts that you, uh, what he's saying is true. And the enemy loves to use partial truth for you to hook, line, and sinker what he's saying. That's what he did to Eve and Adam in the garden. He used partial truth. They hook, lined, and sinkered what he said. And as a result, they disconnected themselves from the, the Lord and from the Father because of the sin that came and the spirit of fear entered in them. They hid from God and as a result, left the garden and had a time. And, and sin was ushered into this earth and created all the calamity that we experience today. But the Lord Jesus came to restore that flow, that, that relationship with him so that we could have a, a spirit of strength, that we can have the Holy Spirit in us, that we are not weak and we are not um, vulnerable to the lies of the enemy if we keep our mind stayed on him. If we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Listen, remember, Eve was in the garden when the enemy came. She was in the presence of God when the enemy came. We need to be very aware that we are not listening to the enemy. It's very important with all the information out there that, that we can access. We have to filter it through the Word of God and through the Spirit of God. I want to encourage you to do that because over the last couple of years, two or three years, there has been, it feels like a release of the principality of the spirit of fear, which is connected to believing the enemy's word. Remember that. The spirit of fear is connected to believing the enemy's partial truth. And the Lord says, I have not given to you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. And as a believer, that's what the Lord wants you to walk in. Power, love, and a sound mind. And I want to talk to you a little bit more about that. It's not buying what the enemy is selling to you. And he and they try to sell, the world tries to sell, the enemy tries to sell you that your strength comes from certain things. It does not. Your strength comes from the Lord. Adam and Eve's ability to do the assignment God had given to them, to have dominion and fruitfulness, came from the relationship with the Lord. It was a delegated power and authority. In that same way, we have delegated power and authority through the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. And Paul writes in the New Testament that we can be strong. We can be strong. Even, as I said yesterday, even in our weakness, we are strong because His power is made perfect in our weakness. That's 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 11. We can do all things, not some things, not when it's working out, but we can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Paul also writes this, that his strength, he also strengthens us and he protects us. 2 Thessalonians 3, 3 says this, but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. I want you to know this. That yes, the evil one is about prowling around. Listen, he doesn't have to do much with what the world is. All his demons are taking care of all of that because the world doesn't have the spirit of God. They're already captive to him. He's always attacking the children of God to keep them from walking in power, to, to keep them from bringing glory to God, to keep them from being everything that God has made humans to be. Listen, his children in this earth is who God wants to bring him glory to show forth what Jesus did for us so that others might see the light, so that others might see the truth and come into the kingdom. So that's why the enemy loves to try to come and attack us. And many times it begins in our mindset. But Paul says this, 
2 Corinthians 3.3, 3, but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. You can count on that. You're not out there. The Lord has not put you out there vulnerable to the enemy. He will protect you from the evil one no matter what the enemy is trying to do to destroy you. The enemy's power or his methods or his attacks are not greater than the Lord's protection. And you can rest in peace. Too many believers are worried and fearful about the enemy. You don't have to be worried and fearful because according to the scripture, the Lord protects you from the evil one. Just stay in agreement and in alignment with him. Don't feast or desire the things of the world. Don't be listening to the enemy. He's our, the Lord is our protector and our strength comes from knowing that he has protected us. Listen, may you receive the word, the truth from the word of God that says that the Lord is our protector. See, the enemy wants you to have fear, to fear him, to fear the enemy. He wants you to fear him because by fearing the enemy, you, he gets a foothold in your life. But when you say, you know what? I am not going to fear the enemy because I know the Lord has me covered. I know the Lord has me fully covered. He is my protector. He gives me strength. When I am weak, he gives me strength. His power is made perfect in my weakness. So I do not need to fear the enemy. The other thing too is this. The Lord has given you power and he wants you and designed you to walk in his power and authority, not as a victim in this world, not as a fearful believer in this world, not as somebody that's running from the enemy like the enemy has more power than you do, but rather he has given you power to accomplish great things, to do more than what you can even think he can do in your life. Let's read that. Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within him, within us, to him be glory in the church. Now listen, let's unpack that really Quickly. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. His power, he has given us power and authority and by which we are able to do immeasurably more than all we can even ask or imagine. He can do more through us than what we can even ask or imagine for his glory in the church and to all generations. Other generations will know as well. This is what the enemy wants to stop. This is what the enemy wants to block. And the only way he can block it is by sending you a deception, by sending you a half truth for you to believe so that you will not have the flow of the strength and power that the Lord has for you. The enemy wants you to believe, just like Eve and Adam believed, to stop you and cause you to have fear, to cause you to hunger after the things of the world, to, to strive after those things, to believe somehow that the world's philosophies and arguments and, quote, wisdom have something to offer you so that you feast on that by which the enemy will kill, steal, and destroy the power and authority that you have. But the good news is this. All you have to do, it's actually really simple. Say, I believe your word. I close my ears to the enemy. I won't hook, line, and sinker it. I won't buy what the world is selling. I believe your word. I believe that you protect me. I believe that you give me strength. I am surrendered to you. I am submitted to you. My mind is submitted to you. I keep my thoughts and my heart on things above. You walk in power and authority. And the truth is this. You can do all things through Christ who gives 
gives you strength. The truth is this, that his power is made perfect in your weakness. The truth is this, that you can do it. it he is, through your life, able to do immeasurably more than all you can ask or imagine according to the power that is at work in you. More than you can ask or imagine. This is your life. This is abundant life. This is your destiny. This is who you are. This is who God created you to be. Do not buy what the world is selling. Pray about this word. God bless you, and I'll see you in a week.